Now, how are corporates changing and how are private enterprises sort of changing? There are a few things that are happening. One of them is that you have now not so much emphasis immediately on profits. Uh, there is much more patient capital. You know, you may have heard of companies like Zomato that have got listed. They're still not making any money, but they're still valued a lot. There's Ola Electric, for example. Uh, having, I don't think it is even in its plans, there is any this thing of making profit for the next five years. But there's a lot of money getting into companies like that because there is a belief that there is technology out there which will be in demand because the technology is environmentally friendly and therefore that is the way to go forward. So the, the big advantage of having some patient capital, <coughs> advantage of you know today profit not being the end all, it can be something that companies can aspire to 10 years down the line will mean that there is greater push towards technologies which are more environment friendly to have ESG funds, funds that are sort of specifically geared towards companies that are consciously doing things towards the environment, are helping build the environment, are helping making this country greener. Uh, so uh, technologies grow and develop. It's the aim that even if they don't make profits for the first three years, four years, five years, it's okay. Over a period of time, there is going to be enough of a demand for it because people want these products and therefore let us build them and let's build them with some patient capital. Our uh, Bangalore University is uh, one of the oldest and largest uh, area we have with a bio park, biodiversity park, uh, almost uh, 1,200 uh, acre land. We have developed uh, from uh, almost a wasteland uh, to a mini forest. Uh, at present, uh, Bangalore University uh, Jnana Bharati campus is sinking uh, 64 tons of carbon per hectare. So this is uh, mainly, uh, it was possible because of the NSS volunteers, students from various colleges. They used to camp at our campus and uh, tree plantation, uh, preparing the soil and the soil quality has improved and we have improved uh, the uh, water, water level, groundwater recharge. We have several uh, green, uh, green initiatives and the best practices in the university where uh, we have uh, recharged uh, groundwater and the uh, area that is around us, around our campus, is uh, actually benefited. Benefited uh, from uh, the water, clean water, and uh, actually you, we, when we tested the water quality, groundwater quality uh, in that uh, area, our Nyanabharati campus, the quality particularly near the medicinal plant garden. We have a medicinal plant uh, garden uh, where uh, we bring uh, mentally retarded children uh, to play there, work there and learn. And we call it as joy of knowledge. And uh, every Saturday, uh, the children, you know uh, Bangalore, um, is uh, the urban sprawl, the urbanization, increase in population is so much and there's a lot of impact. Uh, and, and But the, say, the impact uh, is there because there is development. The fact that we are um, working on uh, these green spaces uh, of Bangalore and uh, uh, that one point I said, uh, students come. Uh, my name is uh, Professor Raj Kumar. I'm the founding vice chancellor of Open Chinder Global University. Uh, we are here in Bengaluru. Today we hosted the Bengaluru Sustainability Conclave on the theme implementing sustainable development goals, the role of universities and civil society in protecting the environment. We had the Honorable Governor of Karnataka, uh, Mr. Gelot, who inaugurated the conclave. Uh, there are five uh, 
major reasons why we are here. First, we strongly believe that uh, uh, issues relating to sustainable development goals ought to be a matter of concern for everybody and we need to build collective consciousness. Second, we recognize that universities, academic institutions have a very strong role to play, particularly because of the fact that as young people uh, whose future uh, is dependent upon the, uh, you know, how we deal with the fragility of the planet itself. Third, uh, academic institutions, universities are places where uh, research happens, knowledge creation happens and how to advance uh, new uh, forms of research in the areas related to environment and climate change is part of the responsibility. Fourth is that uh, this report that was released today, the Sustainable Development Report 2021 of Open University is a voluntary effort on the part of the university to throw open for scrutiny by independent organizations about how we use our own resources uh, and how we can improve our functioning as far as protecting the environment. And the last is that the reason we are here today is part of a larger nationwide effort. The Sustainable Development Report on Open to the Global University was released by the Union Education Minister, Mr. Dhanendra Pradhan, and the Environment Minister, Mr. Chaube, on 24th October 2021, which was the United Nations Day. Since then, we decided that besides the fact that we have ourselves done what we can to do, uh, you know, to fulfill our responsibility, we have a larger responsibility to build uh, what I would say collective national consciousness and since then we have organized uh, a few conclaves. We went first to the Banaras and did the Banaras Sustainability Conclave. Then we went to Ahmedabad where we did the Ahmedabad Sustainability Conclave. Today we are here in the state of Karnataka where we are doing the Bengaluru Sustainability Conclave. A day after tomorrow I am in Lucknow where the Honorable Governor of uh, Uttar Pradesh is hosting us at the Raj Bhavan where we will be doing the Lucknow Sustainability and this is part of a continuum in which we intend to engage with organizations, institutions, corporations, companies, think tanks, uh, universities and civil society, uh, making them more sensitive towards implementing sustainable development goals and protecting the environment. Thank you. I am Professor Rajiv Gowda, former member of parliament. I delivered the keynote address at the Bengaluru Sustainability Conclave organized by OP Jindal University led by Vice Chancellor Dr. Rajkumar. This theme and topic is very, very urgent. This is a topic, sustainability, that and issues related to climate change, we think of as far away as global. But we really need to understand how to take those lessons and apply them locally in our own life. Move from, build a bridge from the global to the local. And what the sustainability report does is it actually shows you in a university campus how is how is how are the principles of sustainability coming alive and this with each batch of students if they understand what's going on then they learn that they themselves can take actions which can help the planet heal help the planet improve and that will make a huge difference because at this moment we are actually in a state where uh, global warming is picking up, you might have more serious storms, you might have sea level rise and migrations, you might see changes in agricultural patterns, you might see increase in diseases. All these are at a scale beyond any of our ability to cope in, a, in the near term. So it's impossible if we just leave it alone. We, it is possible to bring about a transformation if we harness the power of youth, if we turn them into creative innovators, um, green innovators, if you get them to become communicators, change agents, get working with civil society. And that was the theme of today's conference. And this is a theme that needs to be amplified, the story told, open people's minds and hearts to the need for urgent action that each and every one of us can take. That's the challenge before us, and I hope that with efforts like this, we will be getting ready to meet that challenge head on.